Hey guys, welcome to the video. I went to Washington D.C. and it was uh, it was it was good. And uh, that's the main reason why I didn't upload much in February is because I was in D.C. and stuff. Um, and it was on a school trip. It was for uh, three days, two nights, three days. It was a school trip, and it was great. We did a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna talk about that in this video. It was the 13th through the 15th of February. We did tons of stuff. I took a bunch of pictures and even a few videos to show you. So, without further ado, let's get started. So right here is what I did in D.C. in 2018. Yeah. So first things first. I have to wake up on the 13th of February at around 4.30 in the morning to catch the bus that leaves to go to school and catch the bus that leaves at 5. Yeah, again, so that bus then goes to the airport, and we have to do security, all that good stuff. That's actually not too good, and then off, off, off to, uh, and then we go on the plane to DC. I just noticed how unenergetic I am being right now, so I'm gonna boost that energy up. Woo! All right, so um, after our plane landed in uh, DC, we. Um, since we were taking two separate planes, we all met up at baggage claim and we're taking two separate buses. Um, and I was on bus one and yeah, so we went and went to the bus and met like the bus driver and the tour guide and stuff and they were all, they were all pretty good. Oh, it was pretty good. So then after we had a quick like 30 minute lunch, um, we went to, <laughs> all right. We went to the museum, which is pretty much, um, you'll see some pictures on the screen here, uh, the museum, which is pretty much, um, all things news related, um, both, like, um, both, uh, bo both, both on, um, pretty big and popular and important news events throughout history that were captured on news media, and us, and also, uh, strategies that and things that these news reporters use to get better feed and stuff like that and stuff about journalism and stuff it was all in all it was a really cool museum and um uh there was a uh, a, th a thing we could do uh on the second floor of the museum uh that was um well you know i have a video of it of my friend doing stuff in it just take a look oh, hi. This has been home Congress since something. The Congress met in New York City, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a good place. Capitol Dome seems to be around Washington City. Uh, th this is a place. Out, out, yeah, there. That's the place. See that? That. That is a. That's that's back to you at the studio. So yeah, as you saw there, and perhaps might have could tell. Um, you could, like, uh, pretend that you were a news reporter and stuff and have a background and stuff. Like, you know, it was, it was cool. So then we went to the Vietnam Memorial, and there was a statue there, and then there was a plaque with everybody's names on it, um, who died in the war. Um, unfortunately, I did not take a picture of the wall, but I did take a picture of the statue. Then from that, we went to the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, everyone knows that, and then I took a nice picture of the, uh, um, Washington Monument, which was, uh, neato, uh, neato, man, that was a, that's a word I don't know if anybody uses anymore. All right, so now, um, we, then we went to the Korean Memorial, which is actually some symbolism behind it. Uh, so, there's a wall that, so first of all, there's the, Korea is on the, uh, 38th latitude, um, oh, is it latitude or longitude? One of the two. Um, and they wanted um, uh, 38 soldier statues, but, of course, they couldn't fit 38. So what they decided to do is make a reflecting wall um, out of uh, graphite? No, granite? I don't know, something like that. Um, Marvel, I think, something like that. Um, a reflecting wall out of so something like that. And... Uh, you could see the soldiers' reflection. So instead, they put 18 on the grass and then put, you could see the refle 18 soldiers' reflection. 39. Pff, and then we went to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, um, the statue, which was 
pretty nice and pretty good. And we were going to go to the Jefferson Memorial, but we didn't end up going there because it started to rain. And after that, we um, took a quick stop at the White House where the Big Daddy stays. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't um, get uh, any treats with uh, Donald Trump, Fre President Trump. Unfortunately, we didn't get to meet President Trump or go inside the White House. However, we did take pictures by the White House and stuff. It was pretty cool. So yes, that's pretty much what we did on the first day because then we went to dinner um, after that and then we just went to the hotel. We, we, it was kind of sweet. We could hang out for like about two hours in the hotel rooms because we didn't have anything going on. So, um, And they did let us bring our phones. However, they did take it away right before we went to bed. But then they did give it back to us right when we got up. When our wake-up call rang, they would knock on the door and then give it to us. Okay, so now day two. Of course, breakfast was a buffet. Um... We were staying in a Marriott, by the way, so it was a nice Marriott. Uh, so the first major thing we did that day was um, we uh, well we drove by the Iwo Jima Memorial, which was kind of nice and kind of kind of cool. And then we went to the Arlington Cemetery. Yes, uh, the Arlington the the Arlington Cemetery is one of the biggest cemeteries in the world, if not in the United States at least. Um, but what's interesting is that not just anybody can be buried here. No, no, no. Now what's interesting is that anybody now what's interesting is that not just anybody can be buried here. Only people who were of some importance, like maybe uh war veterans or people who were related to war veterans. So we walked through there and of course we saw the eternal flame and JFK's uh grave, um, with his family then. We also saw his brother's grave, which was um nice. So we were going through this uh, cemetery and um our Final goal, of course, was to go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Now, if you guys don't know what the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is, it's a tomb of four soldiers, I, I am pretty sure, um, that nobody knows who they are. They All we know is that they died in World War II, I think, because there wasn't DNA testing back then. Um, so these four known, unknown soldiers are just, no one knows them. No one knows who they are. Um, not even their family to some point, because their family can assume, oh, this guy um, never came back, and we never heard from him, our family member, we never heard from him again. Um, and there was someone guarding that tomb 24-7. Um, you know, every every time, any time, there was always someone guarding it. Not the same person, of course, but every time, no matter what weather, no matter what, you know. Um which was nice. Um, oh, by the way, here's a real quick video of the, because uh, they have a routine when they guard the tomb. Here's a um, clip of that. So then we went to, uh, after Arlington Cemetery, we went to the Pentagon Memorial, which uh, there's actually some symbolism behind this. It's interesting. Um, as you can see here the, at this, of this picture, um, they are actually, they may not look like benches. It might look like a playground at first, but um, those are benches. You can sit on them. And uh, the names of the people who died, by the way, this Pentagon, the Pentagon Memorial is memorializing the people who died on 9-11 in the Pentagon. And the names are at the end of the benches. And if you read the name and can look up and see the sky, then that means they died in the plane. But if you read the name and look up um, and you can see the Pentagon, that means they died in the Pentagon. So then after we went to the Pentagon Memorial, we had a quick lunch. 
Um, and then we went to the Capitol and we got a tour. Um, I have a few pictures up here. Uh, we, of course, our whole class took a picture um, of us in front of the Pentagon. Um, it, did I just say Pentagon? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> of the Capitol. Um, and, yeah, we got a tour, and some of the architecture was really nice. We got to go in a uh, statue hall, and there was a statue of Alexander Hamilton in there. So I'm going to speak to you over that. So, yes, i uh, finish up these pictures. <clears throat> and then, after um, we saw the Capitol, we went to the Holocaust Museum, which was very interesting. We got to see, um, or like, some shoes. I, I know. We got to see some shoes at the Holocaust Museum, guys, no. But, um, like, one shoe represented, like, 4,000 people who died or something. It was, um, you know, symbolic, and there was, um, it, uh, sh um, there was, like, you know, they, it showed the uniforms, um, of, like, the Nazis and stuff, and, um, the beds that the Jews slept in when they were in concentration camps, uh, and tons and tons and tons of more stuff, uh, that I'm probably forgetting, that's why you're seeing them as a picture right now, but I'm not mentioning them, because I'm probably forgetting. And we went to the World War Two Memorial, which is, um, it was interesting. Now, there were 56 pillars, each one representing, um, like, our colony, not states, because we have 51 states, colonies, which would it be including Puerto Rico, all of these, uh, those other places, all 56 of our, like, um, colonies, I guess, um, including the states. So then um, we went to uh, dinner, and then we went back to the hotel, and then we had a dance there because it was Valentine's Day that day and stuff, and it was it was real neato. It was like woo, okay. We went to bed, and then so then day three, which is the final day, uh, we actually didn't do too much. I think day three might have been the day we did the least stuff on, just because you know that was the same day we were leaving. But we did do some stuff. Of course, we had breakfast again as a buffet. Um. Uh, in the hotel, and then we, uh, and then we went all the way up to Mount Vernon, which is, of course, in Virginia, so it's, uh, not in Washington, D.C., um, but, which Mount Vernon is where George Washington lived, unfortunately, not, I did, um, uh, not take too many pictures, because, um, we took a tour of his house, and they didn't want us taking any pictures while we were inside the house, but we could take them outside the house, though, um, so, but, as you can see in this picture, um, the view on, um, this is the view, this was the view on, um, George Washington's back porch, and it was just beautiful, so. So then after Mount Vernon, we went to, uh, lunch, and me and my friend messed around a little, we got some souvenirs, and, um, uh, you know, after lunch, because we, this time we had a whole hour, like, a, almost a whole hour for lunch, um, and, my friend, uh, kind of, in my opinion, wasted his money on some stuff. You'll see the stuff he, in my opinion, wasted his money on. Um, but here's a video of it. Oh, God. Do you remember this, Alex? Oh, you are? I don't know why it was so hard for you to understand. Hey, Jahari! We make it YouTube. Yeah. How you doing? Good though. Guys, we make it YouTube. Kurt, come on. Let's no, go. No, I'm going down We're going down the elevator. We're going down the elevator. We're going down the elevator. Go find some G. No. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Do not want to do that. That has lead in it. We make it YouTube. All right. You make it YouTube? Do it. And my mom will go see. Do it on YouTube. Do it on YouTube, okay? Mom, sweet, oh, oh. Baby! Oh, of course! Let's make it. 
Can we feed you too? Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, it's, uh, first of all, it's, we're doing all that in 2018, so I don't even know. Uh, so, uh, then after lunch, we went to the Air and Space Museum, which was, uh, good. It was, like, it was great. It was, like, um, it showed all different types of, like, aircrafts and helicopters and planes and all that type of stuff and the mechanics behind that, those, and, uh, yeah, again, kind of like the Holocaust Museum, there's going to be some things that I'm going to forget to mention. That's why you're going to be seeing all these pictures here that I'm probably not mentioning. Uh, so yes, um, so then after that, so then after that, we went, uh, to the airport, um, after the Air and Space Museum, we departed for the airport, and then we, uh, went to security again, all that stuff. Oh, let me tell you a story about security, um, on the way to D.C. in, um, this airport. So I was, um, I wasn't in D.C., this was on the first day, we were going through security at, um, I don't really want to see the airport because I don't want to give it away where I live. Um, we were going through an airport um, that's near where I live because we were going to Washington, D.C. through security. And I forgot, oh, my God, because they didn't check bags. We weren't checking bags because that would just take too much time um, for everyone to go down to baggage claim and stuff like that. Uh, so we just decided to che um, not check bags instead and just put them in the overhead compartment. And, and then, uh, yeah. So, my suitcase, I have a backpack and my suitcase. My suitcase, I put, my backpack and my suitcase, I both put on the conveyor belt, of course. Just the backpack goes through just fine. Then the suitcase, it goes to the left. The guy makes it go to the left because they take an x-ray. And I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot to put, to take out my liter bottle of Gatorade that I had in there. And they were like, they, it sounded it sounded to me like they thought it was like a terrorist. They were like, okay, step away from the suitcase. You cannot touch it. And they put on gloves. They investigated it. Anyway, uh, so that's what happens if you uh, leave um, water or any type of uh, beverage in suitcase going through airport security. Don't do it. Anyway, back to D.C. where I am. We're at the airport. Um, well, I'm, I'm not in D.C. now, but where I am in this story. Um, we're going through the airport through security, and then we go through it just fine. And then we go to our gate, and then we just hang out. And um, yeah, and yeah. Here's a picture of us uh, waiting for the uh, plane. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we could just chill out, go to Hudson News, all of these different, like, uh, stores, you know, of course, in the yard, and, like, buy stuff uh, if we had the money. Because, by the way, for lunch, um, they did give us, because lunch was more like, a, um, we just went to the l local mall and then just, you know, bought our food, whatever food we wanted. Um, and they gave us, the school gave each of us $10 for every lunch. But then, um, they did give us, like, snack money, I call it, on the day, because we, we didn't get home until, like, um, 7 o'clock at, at night, um, which is, you know, they had dinner, so that's why I said snack money. Um, they gave us $10 for, um, at the airport. It was intended for dinner, but we couldn't, because, but the plane left at, like, uh, 4.30, so we can't really have dinner too, that early, so we just gave them, um, so, yeah, we just bought, like, snacks, I would say, so, yeah, and then our airport came, and then our airport came, no, our airplane, uh, came, and then we went off, and then, um, on, dis on descent, during descent, um, on the way back home, there was, uh, some massive turbulence, I wish I would have recorded it, but it was great, I actually have before that never really experienced turbulence in a flight before, but now I have, and it's 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 like a roller coaster. It's, it's cool. So then we did that, and then uh, we landed, and then we uh, the bus took us home for that thirty minute ride from the airport to the um to the school, and then I we unloaded all of our bags and stuff from under the bus, and then I met my mom, and then just a short car ride, and I was home. So yes. And that was my trip to Washington, D.C. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. Bye, guys.